Good morning and welcome to, uh, this is May 14th Aurora in the Realplex channel. And by the way, support Realplex because Realplex, uh, Skies, he does the nubulars and stuff that are exploding. He did Auroras and this is the bloodiest Aurora I've ever saw. I didn't do nothing but add a little bit of vibrance, which just brings the color out. But that's what it looked like right there. It was live. I watched it. I should have recorded 18 hours of it because it was insane looking. But I figured you'd get the gist right here. But this is not what the video is about. I just wanted to share this because you guys don't go to my Aurora videos. They're awesome. Um, but I need you to check out my Aurora playlist. Now this is breaking live right here. I put it on double speed. I don't hide nothing from you guys. I just show you the real skies. Anyways, enjoy this for a second while you get your coffee, because you're going to need a coffee when I show you what Amy found in the skies. I'll just tell you a little bit. You're going to see a whole cluster of UFOs going across the sky. I do a forensic on it. I do uh, filtering on it. Forensic it. See if it's fake. See if it's been cloned by AI or cloned by um, Photoshop, which it wasn't. They're actually spaceships. I get the details on a couple of them when I do the forensic. So stick around. If you haven't watched my short videos, they're going insane. I'm putting a lot of Trump up. I'm putting uh, daily news up, I'm trying to find articles and stuff that's going on. And I go find them on TikTok. You're allowed to take their videos with uh, YouTube shorts and put them up as long as you give credit. And I'm putting up uh, something like 250,000 views in nine days, something like that. So it's kind of about 500 new subscribers. Welcome to my channel. And let's go into the forensic show, and I'll talk to you in a minute. Ain't that beautiful? Come on, thumbs up for the Aurora. Get your coffee, you got a couple seconds. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to CCTV. This is a picture from Amy Victoria. Now... This is the original picture. Um, actually, I put the auto correction from the AI, but that was the original picture um, from Amy. And she made sure she seen it, and then she made sure she gave me a close-up shot. So here we go. I'm gonna take this thing to the um, the maximizer. Okay, boom. Here we are. It all set up. And there we go, it's in the maximizer. Right now it's 922 by 2048 pixels. That's the original. Okay, and I'm gonna bring this thing up to right off the bat. 9K by 20K pixels. 10 times more pixels. It's actually a thousand times. But if you see that, I'm gonna take away a little bit of the um, noise okay and I'm just doing this video this could be debris this could be UFOs playing around this could be our planes playing around um, pretty clear but it's definitely objects all moving together um, could these be some of the first rocks that we see coming off the edge I don't know what it is, guys. Pretty interesting. Um, let's do a little work on it. See if we can see it better. I'm going to bring the contrast all the way up. Then I'll bring the exposure down a little bit. Uh, bring the clarity in. Sometimes clarity adds a little bit of squares to it, so you got to be careful. So you guys are the judges out there. What do you think? Is debris or the UFOs? Whole fleet of UFOs. Let me see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10 12, 13, 14. This one right here. See the afterburners? 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Notice how they're streaking in. See how it's kind of a streaky look? Let's work on this one. Uh, 
So I don't care about anything else right now. Well, that one too is pretty obvious. These are different types of ships. See, that's an orb. They're not Chinese balloons. Well, Ed, I don't know that. They could be just a bunch of Chinese balloons. Um, but I've seen the Chinese balloons over Colorado. I did a video on it. Um, didn't get much notices. But these are... They look like ships. Tell me, folks, what are they? Are they ships? Anyways, just trying to do a little quick report on this. Um, yeah, that's definitely a ship. I got the contrast and the brightness down a little bit. The contrast up. I'm going to go ahead and crop this thing because it's huge. you guys think rocks that looks you can see it pretty clear um, let's do some sharpness so I always get the one that I like it's the best clear shot and I just put a little bit of sharpness on it Good capture, good capture. Incredibly freaky looking. It's like they're all coming in. You see the lines? Alright. Oh. Let's see what else I could do. Today. Let's do let's do a little forensic on this ship, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and save a copy and I'll be right back on the forensic. And that was done by Impixio Maximizer. I wish they'll pay me for advertising it because it's a great tool. It's like um, Photoshop made easy for non-photographers um, like me and like you. Yeah, this program, I think it's about 23 bucks a year and you get the upgrades. I don't know. Spend 30 bucks a year on it. It's not bad. Look at that. Wow. The whole fleet. Look at these dark ones out here. the dark ones now the forensic tool will pick up all these dark ones so let's see what we could do I'll be right back all right we're live um, I'm in my forensic machine I'm gonna put the magnifier all the way up to 8 and I'll put it on auto contrast and we're gonna see if we could see these so let's go magnification too Sometimes when you're doing this, you find I'm gonna find the original. Only the original shows up good on the forensic machine. If you use like already pre-filtered, you won't get as a good a, a shot of it. I'll get there in a minute. I got a lot of pictures I gotta dump. I like that picture. All right here's the original for me. Right there. Let's open that. No, nope, not any better. Actually worse. So I'll go back to that uh, that first one I had. So yeah, these I put everything on my desktop. That way, if it's up there, I can still show it and work on it because I show it two different ways, three different ways. I do it on Instagram. TikTok, I cover the whole basis um, everywhere. Pinterest, I got uh, probably 12 groups or 15 groups on Facebook. Anywhere from 900 to 6,000 people in them. 
I don't know where they come from. It just increases daily. All right, here's the crop version. Let's go ahead and throw that in there. This is the one that's cropped and I did the CGI. What I'm gonna do is go to clone detection. Now this will, anything you can't see. Now see these items that it's pointing to? For the minimal similarity is 0.10. Minimal detail. Let's go minimal detail up. Now it'll reset itself on the details. Um, to see something that says no, minimal detail don't matter. We'll put it back down to all the way, the least amount. And I can't show you, well, I can. These objects right here are exactly the same. Now, this is, this tool is excellent for like Photoshop, but this, I know Amy, this is not Photoshop. She don't even have Photoshop. She probably wishes she did, or maybe she don't. This is a uh, auto contrast by channel, which gives it more of a 3D look. You can see how these things are sitting in space. And remember I told you about the black ones up here. See the black ones? I'm just cruising around. There's a lot of black ships or black dots. I can't just zoom in on this picture, only this tool. And this is by contrast. See, they're in little cluster groups. I don't know if they're rocks, you know? Or if they, because of the light on them, I think they're ships. Anyways, good morning, everybody. This is crazy to wake up at 6 o'clock in the morning, too. Thank you, Amy, for your witness. Um, now, clone detector, like I said, these are exact ships. And they could be the exact same built ships. Uh, minimal cluster 8. Let's go to 13 cluster. Let's see if we can find more. Nope. Um, go all the way down to minimal cluster. See what we get. Ah. So the minimal details of each ship or each rock is like right there. This one matches this one. This one matches this one. And then this one here matches this one. So you can see... There's a lot of clones. Um, let's increase our, increase our block size. Um, so what you're looking at is the forensic of these things being cloned identical. They could be ships. Okay, now, one of the things I want to show you too, uh, noise analyzer. And this thing... noise is just like white lines like this is all noise in space you see down here the noise it's real objects and to prove that let's go to level sweep this is going to show you what has its own light source there's your ships okay and as I bring the opacity down in the sweep Okay, so the sweep you start out with, you know, your normal picture. And as you bring the sweep down, it sweeps the light. This takes it out of the picture. So you can see what actually is glowing. Okay, right about there. They're actually little light sources. So now I gotta say they're ships. Because they have their own light sources. I don't think these are Elon Musk's, uh, what do they call the satellites? Starnet? Skynet? That one has a little V to it. Okay, so as you bring your opacity down, let's count them now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Fifteen, sixteen. Now we're just going to scan the area, which you can't see. Kind of seems like a waste of time until you find something that you can't see. This thing will pick it up if you can see it. Pick that up. So that sixteen, maybe sixteen ships. Let's bring the opacity all the way down. These are your brightest ships right here. Is that crazy? Well, I'm going to report on this, because there's so much Uf UFO activity. Um, see, 
bring the width up and it shows from the outer side. Bring the light back up a little bit. Now, are these getting hit by the sun? I don't know. They look like ships to me. See that? That's insane looking. Let's just do more sweep. We didn't see that one. Couldn't see these. Good tool, right? Email me, tv 18 at gmail. Kofi, C-A-F-I-T-V-18. And I'll send you the name of this tool. And like me, I'll swear you to secrecy. Look at it right there, guys. That's a perfect picture of a ship. I think I'm going to leave this right there. Amy, you caught some spaceships. That was a nice capture. Talk to you later. You guys keep looking for the ships. Even it looks like uh, little white specks in the sky like Amy's. Look at those. That's a ship. Two burners on the back end of it. Or whatever type of burners. Whatever type of engines or power that is. You tell me in the comments. Like, share, thumbs up. And uh, more to come. You guys got to go to my podcast. My first ever podcast. Look on top of my channel. On the top row. Then when you come in. And it will say podcast. In there is all long videos. There's about 20 of them. And I'm getting ready to make podcast number two. Podcast number one is doing pretty good. Because I have so many videos. It's just easy to get to my top videos that way. Um, on short videos. What I'm going to do is pick out the top 100 short videos. And I'm going to serve them to you guys. And if your ears are ringing, go to gearlinkedup.com for ear ringing relief. And that stuff will give you so much clarity, guys. Believe me, I'm taking it right now. Talk to you later. God bless. Oh, yeah. You got Jesus. Because you're going to need them. UFOs are invading. Aliens are invading from the south, from the north, and from above. God bless you all. I'll see you here, there, or in the air. Either way, we'll meet soon.